Hey guys, Into the Stars, and I'd like to finish off these last three episodes before the new episode of Star Wars will come out at the end of this year. This first section is the core above the lens Earth, the star pattern. And here we see the sun and the moon above the Jedi Council floor, which is the convex lens Earth, even though it's flattened out. They actually show the star spin in the pattern on the floor. This is from Return of the Jedi as they destroy the core reactor inside of the second Death Star. And this theme of the core continues on and on because it is the pattern of the night sky, the star spin at the equator. It looks like the core of an apple. And this is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This is the fruit that was eaten, the, the reality that we were forced into when Eve ate of the fruit. As they make their escape here, we fast forward to Attack of the Clones. As Obi-Wan goes to the clone factory, and again we see the core here as he goes to this planet where all the clones are being made. Another core reference. And of course in this episode of Star Wars, we see the pair. And this is repeated over and over again. This when Anakin was grown up. And then we also will see it again when Anakin was a boy. We see the apple reference again. And we'll see this repeated over and over again. They want you to understand the apple, the core. Okay. Uh, there's another episode of Star Wars where they put up this force shield. And it looks much like the core of an apple as well. This is the firmament that's talked about in the Bible. And this is basically our prison until Jesus comes back. And so they're repeating these themes over and over. Now, this is a conglomeration of three separate episodes of Star Wars that you're seeing here. This isn't just one episode. This is all three episodes that they're repeating this in. They actually mention the planet core in the script here and here going to the planet core Jar Jar Binks becomes their navigator to get them to the planet core better dead here than dead at the core says Jar Jar Binks here is again another apple reference Jar Jar uh, eats the apple with his tongue and this is the young Anakin Skywalker in a completely different episode they repeat these themes over and over again because this is the part that people just don't get. They don't put it all together, okay? But that's what we do here on Enter the Stars. Put together the patterns and find bits of truth within it. And what you're seeing here is another bombshell description of the convex lens Earth as these young Jedis are wearing convex lens inner eye hats. And then they shoot to the star system, and Obi-Wan is noticing that a star is missing, and he's asking where the star went, and Yoda says, it's been erased from the archives. Now, a strange thing happens when you're standing atop the convex lens Earth. You look up and see the star, the star pattern spinning, as we've talked about over and over again. So they're showing you this. Now we're going to look at the eye. And this is pretty amazing because Yoda says, who could have erased, or Obi-Wan says, who could have erased a star from the, the archives? And Yoda says, only a Jedi could have. Now I believe that they're referring to the blind spot in the back of the eye where the optic nerve connects. There's a blind spot. And this could represent our lack of ability to remember the truth because that part of our understanding is blocked okay now in this episode they destroy the command ship and Anakin does this by accident as he's a little boy and he's kind of going on the instinct of the force and he blows up inadvertently blows up the command ship which looks like an eye now make no mistake the eye control ship is destroyed and that is a an analogy to our life here okay 
we have to destroy the I command ship. Okay, here's another I reference here. The false I, the Illuminati I, the light that comes in through your front of your eyes that deceives you. We have to go into the inner light to find the truth. Here they're going to the core, and it's like he's flying, and then they, then they switch over here. They fade into the I command ship, and here it is clearly an I as they're going into the core. So it's definitive references of the eye. Here's the ship that they're navigating in the water. And you can see the eyes look like Darth Vader's eyes, like his sunglasses. Okay, most people would miss this, but these are things that we find. Here's again another episode as Anakin is a boy, and you see the eyes where his mother lives. There's also blue blood references. The fallen angels, okay? This is where um, his master gambles for Anakin. And he says blue for the boy and red for the mother. Okay, red is the man, blue is the fallen angel. And of course it lands on blue. And then he brings out his blue swoop, swoop bike or swoop ship for the race. And it's got blue stripes, okay? These are fallen angel references. Now we talked about if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. But I was shocked to see all of these instances where hands were cut off, right hands, in these three episodes. Episode 1 and 2 are what we cover here. Here he cuts off the bounty hunter's hand, her right hand, as you can see here. You see it on the floor with the gun. Then we see in this next part, the right hand of Django Fett gets cut off here once again and by by Mace Windu then he cuts his head off of course and then of course Anakin gets his right arm cut off hopefully that was helpful you guys that concludes our analysis of Star Wars take care and be safe